Welcome to video two. In this video, I'll show you how to import students into your enterprise management panel. There are two ways of doing this. If you have small numbers of students to add, you can add them manually. You can do this by first clicking on the icon students here in your enterprise panel. If you have added students already, you will see them here as in this example. If you haven't, this list will be empty. To add students, I will click the blue button here labeled Add Student. Now we can add some details to create the user profile for this student. I'll add these details now. If we want to change the student interface language to the student's home language, we can use this drop down menu to select the relevant home language. We can also decide if we would like to send the login credentials to the student via email. The default option is set as no, so be sure to change this if you would like to. Remember, sometimes notifications go to spam or junk mail. So even if you are sending the auto notification by selecting yes here, it's best to follow up with the student to make sure they have their details. Finally, by clicking submit, we create the student profile and return to our list of students. The student we have added shows at the bottom of this list, in this case on page two, here. You'll notice the other students in this school have a teacher assigned to them, and some have a class assigned to them too. We'll go over how to do that in the next videos. If you have large numbers of students to add, you can add them more efficiently by using the import function. To do this, I'll click on the import icon here in the enterprise panel. There are two options here to import teachers and to import students. Both use the same process but for the purposes of this video, I'll click on Import Students. In this screen, we can see the instructions for adding new students who are not yet registered with Off to Class. In order to upload students here using a CSV file, we need to make sure the following sections in that file are completed student email, the student's email address used for login and notifications, student username, the student's full name, student password must be at least eight characters long, teacher email, email of the teacher you want to assign the student to. Remember to have these two column names in your file for the upload to work. The data for these two columns is optional. The column names that must be included for the upload to work successfully are student class name, the name of the class you want to assign the student to, and student identifier, up to 25 characters long. We have added a template for you to use and make the process of importing students a lot quicker. This is the template I added to earlier. As you can see, the template is an Excel file. This allows you to add data to the file 
until you are ready to upload it. At that point, you can save the file as a CSV file. Let's do that next. I have chosen the file to be imported and you can see it here. So I'll click now to upload to import these students into the enterprise panel. This next screen confirms the details we entered in the file earlier. To complete this step, I will click create students. You can see the green bar telling us the student's import has started. I also receive an email telling me this has now been completed. I'll navigate to the enterprise panel again to see the students in our student section. The students we imported show at the bottom of page two here.